Jacob was a struggling man. And when you talk about contemporary, even in his contemporary setting, Jacob is just running away. Some of us struggle, even at night. You've seen the people who walk at night. They are just running even at night, and they go back to bed. It is that serious. You are in the, and some of you can't. You are just on the run every day. That was Jacob. And many of you know, the man Jacob, he had attained his position by cheating. You know that? He was blessed when the mother was able to know the favorite meal that Jacob actually, um, uh, that, that the, the, the favorite meal that his father desired. And when the father was blessing me, he said, I know you. You are, your skin looks like that of, um, of your brother Esau, but the voice is not. And so Jacob was always in suspicion of whether he had in his rightful position. And then he struggles with the men, and now in this passage, he struggles with God. Jacob did not just struggle with God alone. He struggled with his brother Esau, you know that? When he was debating about that, so you can actually struggle with your brothers. He struggles with the father. You may want to say that the mother of Jacob is to blame. But again, this man Jacob struggles with his father. Now, the worst part of it, which Louis don't do, he struggles with the father-in-law. This one, Mr. Gola, you can attempt. The father-in-law normally kept it away. This man Jacob struggled with his father-in-law. When he realized he had been cheated, he also said, um, seba, ye. So he struggles with his father, his father in law. Ah, my goodness. But now, finally, Jacob struggles with his wives. Go and read that passage in chapter 30. When his wife, that he thought he was the better one, did not give children, Jacob asked himself whether he had done the right decision. This was a struggling man day and night. This was a struggling man right, left, center, and right. Jacob struggles with the angel in chapter 32 from verse 28, which is our main emphasis. And as he struggles with God, it seems like he's struggling with all the other people. And the Bible says he struggles until daybreak. Oh my goodness. Some of you have big strength. That you can actually struggle your entire life, entire day, entire working day, until God says, I will put a full stop on you. So, Mungu anaguza maala na sema zima, anamuzima. Anaguza hapa, kwambia nyamaza. Kaa hapa kwa madhabao. Sema baris, ni barike. Praise the Lord. That is the someone we want to look at. The contemporary of, of, of Jacob. He has struggled with everyone until he does not even trust the Lord. And so he struggles with God relentlessly without giving up until God says, oh, man, you are a struggler. <laughs> and some of us, by the way, you seem to have succeeded maybe away from God. But God wants you to actually tell you stop and be a good man. And God be a man that is reformed. Be a transformed man. Yesterday, Billy was speaking to us in the prison, and I said, Billy, you stand, people, to see you. Stand. This man, uh, this man was in prison for 700 and how many days? Yeah. Those are two years. Be seated. So he was preaching to us, and he was giving us about hope. Don't struggle anymore. Don't be condemned anymore. You can actually live a better life. Jacob was struggling, and struggling with God. In his suspicion that someone is pursuing him, he struggles with identity. In fact, at one point, when Esau says that I am coming to meet you, Jacob, Jacob knew how to give bribes. He was a Kenyan, he seems to be. Kenyan's what? He says, Nitatangulisha vingombe kidogo. And then Esau says, No, I have been blessed since you left me. He struggles whether that's a wacha nitoe kakitu. Just as how he was struggling. This man, he says, now bless me. Now, Lord, because I've met you, because he didn't know. He said, and his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. Some of you need to change your name from a robber to a child of God. Amen. 
Just simple as that. And that struggle ends. He's in suspicion. He struggled with the reality from his experiences. He was not just running away. By the way, you were, some of you don't just run away. So you are running away from a reality. Jacob was not actually chasing wind. He knew. After some of you ask yourself whether Jacob was really blessed. But now, the most interesting thing in the biblical narrative is that Jacob finds himself in the chronology of Jesus. So God forgave him in God's divine. But this man struggled. He overcame the struggles, albeit with a mark on his rib bone. There are many of us who lack one teeth because when you are robbing, you shoot you. That's okay. You remind people, hey, I was doing something. Okay. There are many of you that have mark of struggling with that. And actually, this man has one in his time. So why struggle? We struggle because of two things, really danger, and we struggle because of perceived danger. The really danger is that you need security. You need to safeguard your existence. You need to safeguard your position. Perceived danger is a fear of retaliation, watalipisha, identity crisis, self-esteem. So we struggle out of that. And the more dangerous part of it is when we actually realize people are actually running away too much because of perceived danger. Now, with the world where we are, some of us are holding money. We are holding dollars. We are holding maize. I can tell you, there is Lanino. We can plant some maize again for three months. Let's not worry. God will provide for his people. You have lost the job. There is a God that will give you another one. They are really danger that indeed you got in that place, and that's maybe where you are perceiving too much. It's because you don't know whether you need to bribe again to get. God just needs you to surrender. Jacob struggles because of both real and perceived reasons for his destiny, blessing from his father and um, of his wife. He's fighting, and this is a good fight. I'm not saying struggling is bad. I actually had. When I see ata kuku ikichinjwa inalala, tunaweza kuwa ni mugonjwa. Kuku mzuri ina pigako mateke kidogo. You know, I have seen even when the lion is chasing, it feels good as the hunter. He touches something when he's running. Kini, you know, you know, nanga the lion cannot eat a baby because it's, it's, it's very lifeless. Ikishika hivi gagazel, unaacha mpaka mama inakuja. So struggling can also be good. Because it brings out the energy and the reality to engage God. I will be talking about prayer without ceasing. That's why we'll be doing a Kesha. By the way, we do two Kesha in November. And we'll advise you about December because it's on Sunday. We go before God and say, God, we want to cry the whole day. So I'm not saying struggling is bad. It is good because it brings in us the reality that we are in the pursuit in the things of God. He actually struggles because he needed compensation for his labor. In the father-in-law, you can't just allow something to be stolen of you. I told you I watch Nat Geo Live very much. And so the other day I was watching about um, the many buffaloes. And they were, one was attacked by um, the lion. And the buffaloes come nearer. And they come, when they hear it make noise, they come very close. And at one point... Uh, the buffalo that was very much surrounded is only now uh, being um, strangled by two lions. And the rest kept on checking on the other buffaloes. Now, the most now sad part is they come, they come. One came nearer to chase the lions. But lion, he was to be a And finally, the buffalo dies. Because the struggling buffalo could not even get the others that would push away the lions. We need to be very persistent in the things of God, as I also talk about overcoming struggling. Who struggles or what do we struggle with? We struggle with people. I was telling some of our, my, our leadership, including some other people I was engaging with, there are no angels on this earth. It's, even in the church here, there are no angels here. You've seen some? 
only on the acting of heaven's gate. They only act. But there are no angels. There are no angels in our, in our marriages. We were arguing the other day that what could be the way of understanding of many things that are happening in our marriages? And um, I posted and they say, no one divorces an angel. And then other than one beer, we struggle with brethren. When a brother does not pay the debt they ask or from you. When a brother does not honor the promise they have done. When a brother leaves you, like some of you guys, actually in brother, hapa, wale wana imbanga, natuwa tuwa example, wale wana share, alafa na kutupadia mistari, ambazo he cannot do. You may really struggle with understanding brothers or as sisters. We struggle against situations. Trends, like we are talking about the LGBTQ, dark background, some of us, you know, postmodern trends, when people ask about us, who are you? Where have you come? We thank God some of you have a very good linear paragraph or a linear graph of your growth when you talk about maybe your career life or your upbringing. But there are many of you whose life are zigzag, up and down every day. One of them is Jacob. He didn't have a linear graph of growth. Postmodern trends, we're really trying to catch up with everything that happens. So we struggle with it. Some of us have said, old is gold. And I can tell you, what is old can also grow old. And what is young can also grow old. We struggle with that. We struggle against satanic works. There are ways that Satan can actually just enter you or even your family. And you need to know who you are struggling with. I'm saying this because when Jacob struggles with the man in the passage of Genesis chapter 32, he's struggling imagining that maybe this is a sow. So you know he was going to meet a sow. There's a high likelihood he's thinking that he's fighting that. And he fights so strongly. And sometimes, you know, the Bible talks of the devil as well, a deceiver of brethren. So you find you are fighting somebody for no reason. You get that? You find somebody without no reason. It happens. Just perceive the thing that you don't have solid this. And he does it. Have you imagine when a pigamut was a pigamut because he was an angel? The angel was visiting literally. So he was a pigamut. 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 He was a By the way, do you hear God saying, Ata wewe nita kufinya kesho yake mpaka asubuhi? He doesn't. Our children are suffering in drugs. You ask yourself, did I not do right? Disobedience. You know, you can be a pastor. By the way, one of the things our children will be going out in December. We just gather them across. And they are told that you are no more children. I know some of you, when you see them, like Subwap and say, Mototo, a senior pastor, and I can be a. Ni mutoto to come awak. Buana sifuwe san. Yeah, so say, well, unaona Subwap, you know, unaona squeeze in the make up or cast the bin. Now I'm trying to just, just to manage when I wake up with Chavuzao. This is the thing. Because some of you think by virtue that maybe this is an error, what Totoake they can be, they're just human beings. And they can also, when they are called to school, you are unable to tell even us that I'm a to I'm a shikwa na bangi. One of the mtotoa deacon, mtotoa elder, mtotoa senior pastor. It is quite possible. In one of the assemblies I served, and that is why I encourage our youth pastors and youth workers to be very friendly to our children. One of them was playing the drum. And one time he came and told me that I use drugs. And um, so we had to walk with that young man for quite a while and said, my father and my mother does not know. I told you this story I made on. Because their father was an elder. I had as a pastor at that time to walk with this child. Now, the sad part that happened, the good thing our council elder is not here, is when they transferred me. Because I had a secret mission of restoring that guy. If there is anything that made me to move from that assembly and that pay pain, was that young man. Because he came and confided in me that he's using drugs, heavy drugs. But he would come and he would play that keyboard, that drum set very well. And so we would meet every time. So every day he would come, he would come 30 minutes. We do Bible study, we pray. And then we try to engage and engage and engage. But who is our God? The other day I actually learned that he overcame and I was telling the mother, 
you know, the young man came and he confessed this and he said, ah, so you, I was actually accused. You should have told me that time. <laughs> now, that is the most dangerous part of why I'm preaching this sermon. We struggle with some of the confidential information that we have. It could be about ministry, about work. The delicate balance of how to handle the same. But this is a reality of our society. And you know this young man just came and because we had gone out and that's why we love the camps. Allow your children to go out for camp. Don't think it's a lot of money. You will waste a lot of money. We will charge you 5000 for them. When they connect with some of these youth workers, the things they tell them, okay? And so we learn to, to keep them, to keep them, and keep them. One of our things God has helped us now, our mindset has increased in terms of keeping these things. And we pray every day, and we wonder how we can help them. And our goal is to help them to overcome that. How Jacob struggled. The Bible says that he struggled with the angel till daybreak. This was not prayer, my brother. This was not prayer. Well, it is actually interpreted and extrapolated to be prayer. This man was fighting. Flesh and blood. Hey, this man, oh God, is 74 years. He can fight you, I can tell you. I just heck. That was flesh and blood. He was fighting with his fist, flesh and blood. But the Bible actually cautions us about this, that we do not struggle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. I suspect why God had just to put a stop on the strength of this year, Jacob, is because he was fighting in flesh. My time is gone. Um, so how should we be able to struggle to overcome? I would say four things and then I will be done. Now that I've given you a question about Jacob in the contemporary, we will not fight every day by flesh and blood. But they ask yourself every day, hata ukiwa angry. Kasirika tuna unyamaze, wancha mungu wa kuchune na unyamaze, enda bedroom yako pia lia kabisa toka umefry story ish. Because flesh and blood is giving us mental health illness. We are getting a place, we are stressed. Many of us are giving up. I told you one man just came to my office, not in this place. I don't share what some of you, it was a long time. And he just sat down. We have good seats in my office. He was sweating. And he tells me, Pastor, now I can't work. My wife has left me. And so who am I working for? Because we're doing it. But you can find hope. Tell your neighbor you can find hope. You can find hope. That is the message we have here. So one, you must desire to align your request with God. Otherwise, you will struggle without victory. James chapter 4, verse 2 to 3, the Bible says, You desire, but you do not have. So you kill. You covet, but you, do, you cannot get what you want. So you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with wrong motives that you may spend what you get on wrong pleasures. So you struggle chasing pleasures, pleasures. Stop chasing pleasure. Some of you have enough, I can tell you. Hmm? My two points are enough to feed us. These guys did not eat maize last year. I kept for them five bags, and two points will give you that. We are struggling with nothing. You have enough, let me tell you. But you are chasing every day at the expense of some other thing. Discernment. Discern. This man was not knowing he's fighting God. There could be a blessing. God just wants you to be at his feet. This man would have just gone there and worshipped the Lord. Just an apiga angel, an apiga angel. Like you angel, you must be an anekbarik. Aye, we will move on. Sorry. After fighting with him, running away from him, lack of discernment, but God still bless you. You need to know how to discern the things of God. Vita biyakiro ni yingi. That some of you, God, need to raise you to get a place. I was coming today, and this is what I was feeling. And I can tell you, I've struggled with it a long time. 
Sasa wengine wenu mnataka tumi muone nikiomba hapa prayer minister anasema atajaona senior. Sasa ningeondekana mkuje mkuje muombe hapa na mimi natokezea na uwepo wa Mungu na. Muko tu kano mnataka tu kuona picha ya mchungaji kila ma. Nitakufa. We cannot be everywhere as pastors. We cannot be everywhere as leaders. God wants all of us. Design. We are struggling with wrong things. Not knowing the spiritual things of God. So I was asking. Mungu sana ulite tu watu wakuja wanaomba. Sasa mimi nakuja na ubiri. Sasa nikuja nijiombeni ubiri. Thank you you prayed for me, but I had to pray again because of the struggles. Hallelujah. <laughs> Matthew chapter 16 verse 17 Jesus replied blessed are you Simon son of Jonah for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood by the fa- but by the father in heaven and i'm saying this that even when things go wrong learn to discern number three, because i want to go very fast determination while actually i've said that this man you know if he designed well he would have been determined just to know the god and do that he did or fought until they break pray until something happens some of you have trusted god i've said we in the last quarter and your resolution have not come don't give up we give up very easily persist persist be persist every day you know so another man that wanted me to <laughs> lend him money nikamwambia sina pesa ambia sina pesa ai is one of my relatives sunday nikitoka hapa nika nikaona amekuja na mtoto wake i had to give him money <laughs> Persist, don't give up. Hallelujah. This is this is this is Jacob. Jacob was fighting for his destiny. Now that his destiny is safe, he says, God bless me. I will not leave. Pray until something happens. Philippians chapter 3 verse 12 says, Not that I have already obtained. Sad and what to you because you have obtained all. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal. But I press on to take hold of what Jesus Christ or, or, or to take of that for which Christ took hold of me by virtue that you are an elder which a fika by a senior pastor i desire every day i long for god i long for more exploits i long for the move of god i long for growth and this is what jacob is does he actually fast till daybreak during kesha wengine wao mnafika 12 mnaenda i'm encouraging you fight be determined. We have low determination among Christians. Sisi ndio tuna give up para sema ah tumeachia Mungu, maachia Mungu too many. Muguze mpaka aseme ah wewe uko na alama yangu. And he blesses you and gives you something as actually a memory of that. Lastly, defeat. Acknowledge defeat. I am saying this defeat is good in a struggle. There are many of you who don't accept hata mkiagi and this one ladies don't take it offensively including my wife they say that men you never win an argument against a lady amen women did you hear that accept the defeat women win arguments <laughs> hallelujah as we una pingana pingana so that is why you acknowledge defeat it's a good thing in struggling in pushing let's acknowledge that we are weak let's acknowledge that we have fallen Let's acknowledge that we are not able to measure to the standards of God. Ah Jacob akasema ah kumbe wewe ni Mungu. I have surrendered. I cannot fight you anymore. Bless me. Christians are constant war and the greatest enemy is Satan. Ourselves and the world. A keen understanding of our battle of what is Um, or is worth fighting for remains critical some of us are engaged in an unnecessary struggles or battles even in families in workplaces god is calling us to choose our battles some are his there are some battles some of you will not fight and win you have seen some generational way of behavior in your family some of you just need to surrender and you can easily je- mtu alikufa cancer wewe cancer and you can trust it it's a time we go back to god because some of you are giving and say god to melani some of us our children actually you can go in a family and see a generation of drunkards yani ni kama inapitishwa tu kama inheritance kama shamba it's a time we go back to god mental illness kukua kichaa 
you can go in a family unakuta inaruka huko kidogo na kicha mmoja anazaliwa we can go before god failure I have seen some of you actually in some families and I've counseled some of you. Sorry, not here. I've not counseled such a case here. That you can, somebody gets a good position, inaenda. Na unakuta watu anaenda what? Some of us have actually marriages that have actually, yanu wasichana wote, waliendanga tu, miaka kitatu, wanaruti nyumbani. Wakirudu, wanaka, mama nasema ka. And you are comfortable. The Satan is beating us hands down. Churches have had many things, divisions, tribalisms, and many things. And it's a circus and looks across. We must seek to see what God is saying. May our eyes be open to know which battles to fight and which one to release and surrender to God. We will not win by our struggle. Let me tell you, it's good to struggle. But with our surrender, this is the thing. I surrender all to God. Worship him, please be coming here. I surrender to God. I surrender to God. Because when you fight too much, actually we are dying in battle.